Tonight with breaking news on the investigation into a deadly hit and run. The driver accused of hitting a pedestrian in Westport has been arrested. I'm Mike Montecalvo. And I'm Shannon Heggie. As we first reported yesterday on Eyewitness News Live at 5, an arrest warrant was issued for the man you're about to see, 54-year-old Gerardo Lugo. And we're told he turned himself in to police today. Eyewitness News reporter Sheena Lushudo is live in Westport with the latest. Sheena. Well, just in the last couple of minutes, we actually saw the suspect getting transported by a Westport police cruiser. Detectives here tell us that he is heading toward a facility in New Bedford to be held. Police tell us the suspect turned himself in this afternoon with two family members here as well. Police have been looking for the suspect, Gerardo Lugo, since May 7th. That's when the deadly hit and run incident occurred. For a while, police had released that they were looking for a BMW. They are now revealing that a anonymous tip led them to Mr. Lugo's apartment that then led them to key evidence allegedly linking him to the crash that killed 30 year old Stephanie Tripp. Witnesses told police the suspect initially stopped, but then he left the scene. Investigators located the key to this BMW that we were searching for, mm -hmm. and we had found that BMW along with uh, approximately 200 grams of heroin inside Mr. Lugo's apartment. It was better that he turned himself in um, instead of continuing to be on the run, and hopefully this brings one level of closure to Stephanie Tripp's family. Now, a detective tells us that bail has been set for $50,000 for the suspect. Mr. Lugo is set to appear in court in Fall River tomorrow. Of course, detectives tell us this is all still under investigation. I'll have much more on this story coming up new live at 6. For now, reporting live in Westport, I'm Sheena Lushudo, Eyewitness News. We begin with that breaking news. A man suspected in a deadly hit and run crash in Westport is in custody tonight. And it was first breaking live at 5. Eyewitness News reporter Sheena Lushudo joins us now live with the very latest. Well, police have been working to identify and locate this suspect for weeks now. So now they just hope the victim's family can have some sort of closure. Only eyewitness news was rolling as detectives transported 54-year-old Gerardo Lugo to a facility in New Bedford. This only hours after Westport police say he turned himself in. Authorities believe Lugo is the driver who hit 30-year-old Stephanie Tripp while she was walking on Old Bedford Road back on May 7th. Witnesses say Lugo initially stopped but then left the scene. It was, it was better that he turned himself in um, instead of continuing to be on the run and hopefully this brings one level of closure to Stephanie Tripp's family. Tripp later died from her injuries. State police, Westport police, and the Bristol County DA's office pushed for the public's help to find the person responsible. Detective Jeff Majewski says that's what eventually led police to Lugo's apartment. Investigators located the key to this BMW that we were searching for, mm -hmm. and we had found that BMW along with uh, approximately 200 grams of heroin inside Mr. Lugo's apartment. Lugo will answer to several charges in Fall River Court on Thursday. Westport Police and the State Police are thankful to the public for all the help and tips that came in regarding BMWs that were similar to the crash vehicle as well as the tips about his location. Now, police say they are still learning new information, so this investigation is very much active and ongoing at this time. Reporting live in Westport, I'm Sheena Lushudo, Eyewitness News.